Hello. Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox on the Series X in the wake of the Automatons update. And this is a showcase for the DLC. That's right, you can pick this up, the Automatons pack, for four ninety nine US dollars or four pounds nineteen pence here in England. What do we get with it, though? Well, that's quite a few things, and it is worth it, especially for people who like cosmetic touches to ships. But also, I absolutely love the main feature on this, which is the emotion controller, <clears throat> which I will demonstrate in a short while. So let's go through the blocks that comes with the Automatons DLC pack. You might see them. Here and there, I've already got two half-size fan blocks here. One on depressurize and one inside to provide my internal oxygen. And these half-size fan blocks animated spinning fans look really cool very good and then there's the first block in the set which is the emotion controller and this is a block that comes with 16 emojis that can be triggered in a variety of ways but the best way to trigger it on a drone is a sensor and as you can see in front my drone here not very happy because I'm not there. But if I approach the drone, the drone has a happy face. Sad face. Happy face. So this is the emotion controller. So if we skip over to my little demonstration area over here, you'll see that there's a couple more emotion controller emoji blocks sitting there they're suspicious at the moment suspicious left and right as i get closer a wink and this is because they're tied to a sensor and this is the automatons version of the sensor which also comes in the pack Again, I'll go through these individually. But you have 16 of these emoticons you can choose from on your emotion controller. And you'll find the emotion controller on the radial. And a lot of these blocks are um, spread around on the radial as well. So you'll have to go looking for them. And under symbols is the emotion controller. And it's one that comes in large and small grid variants. And it has a nice handy panel to be able to access it. Then you can see it functions a lot like an LCD. You can change various things about it just like you can on LCDs. But the most important thing about it is that on the emotion controller itself, you have the available LCDs to output to, and then you have these emotions here. And then all you do to get it to change in this regard is set your sensor up so that your actions on the sensor, when you enter the field, you make your emotion controller wink. And when you leave the field, you have it on suspicious left and suspicious right. And 
and that's the emotion controller. What else do we get with the automatons DLC? Well, if we come over to this here, you'll see there's also the small grid emotion controller with another couple of setups. And we have saddle cockpits. At last, we can make bikes with actual bike seating. And we have two variants here. We have the first one, which is your three by three by three. And then there's a slightly more compact version at three by three by two. And they look really cool. You also get a new helmet. You look at the back there, you can see design. And then if I bring it round to the front and I close the visor, we have a robot style helmet. Which is pretty cool. I'll probably be using this one quite a lot. And then there's the plastic armor skin which I've got on these blocks over here just a nice basic more clean texture design you can find it in your textures here And it just gives you another skin to play with when you're designing your ships and bases. Moving on. For cosmetic builders that like to make bases and ships, we have warning signs. There are 13 nice, high-quality warning signs all the way from trading station no access, safety first, storage area, course and explosive danger, notice authorised personnel only, airlock mechanism, zero G, construction site, no atmosphere beyond this point, landing area, ships and drones, medical rooms, and your hazardous environment. Nice designs. And also, small grid as well safety first storage area authorized personnel only training station and no access trespassers will be short then we have two new cameras they're functionally the same as the regular cameras but they look out this direction and they would be very useful for placing underside drones or atop turrets, or atop a drone. You get them in small grid, and you get them in large grid. Fun stuff. For anyone that likes to build bases and ships, we have angled interior wall A and B, and these are basically cosmetic blocks to give your interior walls a bit more bizarre. and you'll find these tucked away in your decoration one under where you'll find all your other interiors and you've got your angled interior wall A design which you can have up that way or you can have it that way and the B design, same deal. Then there's one of my favourites, which is the inset light block, which is a block with a light in it. Nicely designed, 
good for if space is ever at a premium. You won't need to worry about putting in lights so you can as they have a light on a ceiling without too much trouble and put other blocks round lights in walls have lights in floors make some interesting pattern design for a landing pad and other things and those come in large grid and they come in small grid which is also useful again for shipbuilding having these blocks integral to the ship so they're not sticking out on the side and they function just like any other light block in the game anyone else that likes decorating we have two pipework blocks pipeworks a and pipeworks b again great for corridors great for um greebling on the external parts of ships put out some blocks drop some pipeworks blocks on top and make some interesting designs on top of your ship then a few more of my favorites we have four types of access panels we have panel one which is the most functional of all the panels because when you pop it there is actually a terminal hidden behind it then another design here panel two with some wiring good for cosmetics Panel three. That one has a button behind it, which is really cool for a hidden little um, design. And panel four, again, just a cosmetic, nice server style thing for an engineering room or something along those lines. It's nice, it's simple, and two of those are actually useful in terms of functionality. And back round to our air vent fans. You have the half size air vent fan block and the full size. And they are really cool because now we can actually have air vents in our ships and bases that are flush. And the good thing is when I go through the um, next video, which will be on the free part of this automatons update, Keen have already put in the other original air vent style in full block version as well. So if you don't have the DLC, you still have the functionality of having a full air vent fan block for your ships and bases. Moving on. Uh, not so much use, not so useful for us on the Xbox unless we're on a dedicated server is the automaton programmable block. Although, again, very nice for that sort of um, cosmetic design for an engineering or computer area on a ship, even though we can't take advantage of it on our solo and hosted games it still looks nice and would make an interesting addition to a bridge or um, a command area and then there's the automaton skinned programmable uh, timer block which just looks a lot better than the vanilla timer block i mean you compare that to the vanilla timer block which is always found at the top. I mean, compare and contrast. Yeah, that one. A lot more detail. Uh, you can put that up against a wall and it won't be as uh, intrusive as that one. 
And finally, your last piece of the puzzle, or the last piece of um, content that you get is a reskin of the sensor for automatons in large and small grid. And you can see the little arrows at the top make it a lot easier to place this one compared to the old sensor, which, as you know, is basically um, wrong one. Is this sensor here? You can see there's arrows on the automaton sensor. So you can make sure you've got it facing the right way. And it comes in large and it comes in small. And there you have the quick look at the paid DLC side of the Automatons update for Space Engineers. I will be going through the free update on another video, um, talking about quality of life, changes, some of the patch notes, and some of the features, and also briefly looking at the various things that come with it, including the blocks that allow us to make our drones far more interactive and far more interesting and far more functional and a lot easier to do. But that is going to be in another video. There is, of course, going to be, and uh, there's going to be quite a few videos coming in the wake of this Automatons DLC as I start going through, picking out various things, doing up-to-date tutorials, uh, instead of the beta version, doing them on the retail. So I'll be going through setting up the drone again, making it fly from one connector to another, and so on and so forth. And the best practices of doing that, which includes putting the blocks in the right place so that your grid knows when it's coming down, where the connector is it's always best to have your flight blocks above or in front of on your ship on the connector so that when you're programming these waypoints it comes back to the dock to the connector and actually locks properly otherwise you can find yourself having your drone come back to the dock and missing it by um, a meter or so. Anyway, that is all to come in the next series of videos. This has been a quick look at the paid portion of the Automatons update. As I said, 4.99 USD or four pounds nineteen UK currency. So support Keen software. This DLC is not pay to win. It's all cosmetic. And I will catch you in the next video. Stay safe. Take care. Have fun. Enjoy the game. And bye for now.